because of these activities and we want all of us to be involved, so it depends with the days. One day I'll, I'll make a big meal that the following day I don't have to cook mm -hmm. so that I can join mm -hmm. for the activity. We just eat the same food. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they, they tend to like, mommy, we're eating the same food, but if you want me to be there, if you want me to be involved, then mm -hmm. this is how it's going to be. And I, and I tell them I can't be cooking every day because sometimes it's so taxing. So that's, that's how we've been able to manage it. Uh, we also try to every single day when time permits, but we do try to create time. We have at least an hour of sitting as a family, mm -hmm. of having a Bible devotion together. So even during that time, we tend to ask them, how was your day? Just to know, you know, yeah. how their day was, mm -hmm. what happened, you know, if they have any concerns, they will say it. Mm -hmm. And so we create that relationship. Which is very important. Yes. Yeah. Which you see, you've said a lot, and I believe those who are watching are picking and underlining these important things Nidhi and Rachel has been teaching us today. You know, parenting is not a joke. Mm. I've said it over and again. It's not a joke. It's a, it's a lot of work. Yeah. I, I can say marriage is not work. People will say marriage is the problem. Parenting is easy. If my husband is near here with me, I can take care of my child. Relax. Marriage is... Two adults are involved. Mm -hmm. Two adults. Yeah. Because you can discuss and understand easily. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you whatever you feel you're having with your husband or your wife. Mm -hmm. If you said it's not easy, up to you. But in my own definition, it's an easy task if only you can communicate. But with children, mm -hmm. it's a lot of work. And to really want to be an intentional parent, who want to give the best, you want to be part of your children's life, you don't want to miss out on this, it takes extra effort. If you are feeling like, this, if you have to go through your, if you have to consider your feelings every time, you won't do nothing. True. Mm. Yeah. Because you're already coming back from work late. You just say, I am tired, the nanny will take you. Mm. That's how, some people didn't plan it to be like that. Mm -hmm. But they just realized, oh, the girl is a good girl. I trust her. And you know, carelessness setting unconsciously. Mm. So you have to be daily conscious of what you're doing as a parent. Sure. And that's why we have to have daily check. Sometimes we can, you know, little bit relax, maybe because we are tired, we have a lot of things on our head. Mm. But with our daily check, it will call our attention. Yesterday, that was no good. You know, mm -hmm. you didn't even give them a lot of attention. So I tried to check myself. So, oh, I realized I've not, I didn't give attention enough. Mm. That is why we are saying we are not master of all, but our daily check and intentionality is what is carrying us, is what is strengthening us. Yeah. So our advice for you today is ensure your daily check and ensure you are intentional, not your feelings, not because I'm tired, not because you know my husband can do it or the maid is grown enough. Be involved in your children's life. Mm -hmm. uh, I will just go to the next question. Nidhi, what do you think parenting taught you? What have you learned to, in being a parent? Just give me one word or two. For me, if I have to answer in one word, mm -hmm. that is patience. Oh my. That is, the, <laughs> I believe any good parent, that should be on the top. Yeah. If there's something parenting has taught me, oh yeah, oh yeah, liar is patience. Like, if you want to be a good parent, you know, sometimes at the beginning when I became a mom, by the grace of God, I've been helping people out to raise their children, to, you know. Mm. I think for the last 22 years, because I can remember vividly that I started helping people out, taking care of their children, at least not even before that. 2000, I've been helping out conveniently that you can give me your child and let me take care of the child. 22 years. Mm. So it's not like I do, I'm not used to children or I don't understand what it means. But being a parent, this is a direct. So you know, sometimes you feel, at the beginning I said, I think sometimes my expectation was too high on my children. And I, I had to call myself, oh my, these children, they are children, just like I said, mm -hmm. children. But I feel, you are always children, you should get it one time. You know, psychologically, mm -hmm. I needed to call myself as, oh, you have to relax. Mm -hmm. I talk to myself a lot. And that is why the self-check is good. Yeah. You have to be patient. They are children. Maybe the instruction wasn't clear enough. So if you are not patient as a parent, it is more, almost impossible to be successful. Yes. And uh, just to add on that yeah. point, sometimes it's, 
it's important as, as well to allow them to, as you say, to be children, mm. to allow them to fail. Yes. Very important. So that, because uh, as parents, if we are trying to promote uh, positive uh, parenting mm. or positive discipline, mm. uh, for that child to be able to learn yes. from their mistakes, yes. you have to allow them to fail so that mm. next time they'll be able to make a better decision. Yes. You know? If you have been watching us from the beginning, this is Parenting Essentials and that is the Real Talk with Mom edition. If you are just joining us today, I have Rachel with me. She's, she's been married for the last 13 years, mother for 10 years, and she's also my pastor and a very good friend. And to my right, I have Nidhi here with me. Nidhi has been married for 17 years. And she has been a mother for 11 years. And so far, they've been teaching an amazing, amazing point on parenting, on how to be good wife. So if you are just forwarding, you're missing out. Go back to the beginning and listen to this point. Every point they've mentioned is essential, is very important. So I'm just going to ask them one or two points, then we're going to call it a day. Now we're going to be talking about discipline strategies. We know sometimes we talk to our, we talk to our children, we expect them to listen. Of course, we pray and God is helping us, they're listening. However, we know that they are children. Mm -hmm. We see how to, some work, we have to let them understand and give boundaries and they have to face their consequences and things like that. In your 11 years of being a mother, how has your discipline strategies been? So, yes, I cannot say there is just one strategy which I'm using. People often, you know, confuse uh, between discipline and by, with the punishment. But yes. It's not like that. Discipline is completely different, you know. You're disciplining your child to follow a certain behavior to be a better human being yeah so it should not we should not get confused with the punishment like of course they must know like how to behave in front of others mm. how to be their own self how to express themselves you know this is very important and the key to this is the engagement with them how much you are engaging them where as uh, i was saying there is no uh, particular strategy, like, you know, just a one strategy which I'm following. But I try to keep myself, uh, you can say, update with with latest, you know, trends, you can say, because nowadays kids have so much influence with the social media. Sure. They go out to play, they learn things from their friends, which you do not want them to learn, but you don't have control. Mm -hmm. So you need to engage with, with them. You need to... Uh, make yourself updated, you know, what is going on in their life, what they are up to. So in that way, you have to plan the things. So as I said, discipline is often uh, people get confused with punishment, but no, it's not like that. If you're punishing your child, they will limit themselves to themselves and they will not tell you, you know, what is going on because they know if they say something to you, you you're going to be punished. So no, sometimes, you know, friendly way you have to adopt, but sometimes you really need to be, you know, <laughs> be in it's discipline, fun. like, you know, firm yes. with them. You, they, they should know how to behave when they are in church. They should know how to behave when guests come. They must know, you know, how to be themselves in front of others and how to, in the same way, in the same time, how to express themselves to be a better human being. So disciplinary strategy as for me it's more of like involving with your children you cannot say like you know okay you are saying this video you have to uh, you know uh, behave in such a way no 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 it cannot be like that first of all you need to be make sure that you know you are a living example whatever you show to your children they are not going to you know learn from that they will learn from what you are doing so i need to express myself in such a way that i'm giving myself as an example to them you know I, i'm going to to work i'm coming back but they know yeah mommy is tired but she has to go to work also that is an important part of her life but after coming what she's doing okay she's involving us in studies in in prayer in yeah, there is a routine for them so as I said, there is there are multiple strategies which which you have to use, which you have to learn as a parent because you cannot say that you are hundred percent done. Mm -hmm. It's a continuous learning thing mm -hmm. for you and as for as as well as for kids. We need to continue to learn. Yeah. We can stop. And I believe I had uh, Rachel 
last year and we spoke about positive parenting or what? We spoke about uh, discipline and punishment. I know it's it's, something similar. Yes, to that. in part of our point, we discussed a lot about this point. Mm -hmm. So, and I think it's going to help you a lot that you're watching now. We spoke, you know, comprehensively on discipline and punishment and the differences and how to go about it. So, that video might be of help. It's right there on our YouTube channel. Just look for our face on the top nail, uh, thumbnail, and you're going to see that particular video that we spoke about discipline and punishment. Just like Nidhi said, it is quite different. A lot of parents always get this confused. And the, the better approach is, you do something, go. Another time, blah, slap, eat it. It's not gonna work. Your child will end up being your enemy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. However, what I can say that I have come to realize that the key thing is, when you are making the rules mm -hmm. for children, make sure you don't just make the, make the rules and leave them out of it. Mm -hmm. You have to involve them. Involve them in the rules. In fact, sit down together and discuss. Just like I said in one of my videos recently, that in making uh, rules, sit them down and let them see reasons. Let them respond. Let them give rules also. Yes, yes. Give rules. And when you're giving your own, tell them reason why it's not good. Don't just say it and then just take it. No. Mm -hmm. Let everybody be involved. And the consequences. Yes, that is very important. Should be done together. And again, once the consequences have been agreed, the rules are agreed together by every member of the family, that rule is not going to leave anybody out. Mm -hmm. Like, for, I'll add on this. Mm. For example, uh, about the screen rule, you know, okay. it's limited in a day, maximum 15 minutes of screen time. Okay. My help, she also is aware of this rule. Okay. My husband is aware. Both the kids are aware and I make sure that kids, they know the consequences of uh, having more screen time. They know what is going to ha have, you know, the impact of, of that. So they know it very well and they know that we have to stick by it. Mm -hmm. And there is no way they can escape. <laughs> Do you know why your children are aware of the yeah. consequences? Because you don't let yes. your world be garbage. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you are giving an empty truth mm -hmm. and you're not following through, they will disregard yes. it. In this part, you have to be like authoritative. Yes. You have to say no means no. Because, you know, they will they will think that, okay, maybe we'll go to mommy, we'll say, mommy, we did this, you know, nice. Maybe you can allow us to have mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. half an hour of uh, watching TV. No. So whatever, just like I used to say, whatever you cannot do to your child, don't use it as a threat. This day, I try to hold my word. I know what I will do to you. I will not say anything. I know, let it be in my mind. What's what I say? I will lock you up. We like lock up. So we should try as much as possible not to use empty trust and to follow through. If you do that again, I am going to collect that iPad. I am going to do this. Make sure you do it. Even though it's not convenient for you as a mm. mother or a father. Mm. So we have to ensure that our words are good and not garbage. The moment we let our children realize that our words can it doesn't really matter. They will take advantage. And hence, they're not going to listen. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, it's not their fault. Now it's parental wrong now. Because you didn't go through. You didn't follow through. You let them say, it doesn't matter if I beg or cry. Crocodile tears. Mommy. You know, emotional blackmail. Yeah. They are very good at it if you allow them. <laughs> but if you raise your children, they will know that if I cry, I'm just wasting my time. Mm -hmm. If I cry, it doesn't change mommy. I'm not saying we should not show empathy. It's different. Yeah. They are too clever. They will present it as if you know they really need your affection and empathy. Meanwhile, they want you to break the rules. So we have to be smart and smarter but than there is if possible on this aspect. Okay, would you like to tell us what are the strategies that you have used on your discipline measure? Yeah, um, actually they are quite similar to what Miss Nindia said. Uh, for us, it's more of we try to have daily meetings. Um, and just as uh, I've said, we, during the devotion time, we also, you know, take like 10 minutes, five minutes to see how things have been during the day. And uh, of late, the other thing that we've added, uh, we've tried to make each of them like, we call them team leaders, mm -hmm. TL. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so every day we have a team leader in the house. So the team leader is responsible especially between the three of them, responsible to make sure that the rules are followed. Mm -hmm. The routine is followed. Mm -hmm. So after meal, it's 
brushing of our teeth, it's going to bed, it's getting our Bibles, getting our water bottles. So the team leader, we want to see how responsible are you to make sure that things mm -hmm. are falling in place. So there are those that complain, there are those, but still they try really to, to follow through. Yeah. If you're going to bed, make sure you're not talking. It's time for you guys to sleep because it's late and tomorrow you're waking up early. So the team leader is responsible to make sure that mm -hmm. people are not, I have a son that loves reading books. So when you go to his bed, you just find books all over the place, under the pillows, you know? So the team leader is responsible to make sure that people are not, uh, you know, the rest of the siblings are not like mm -hmm. uh, taking advantage because mom is not there. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I said last time when we met, uh, we have the privileges where, you know, if somebody's not doing uh, a task or something right, a privilege is taken away. If it's, for example, two of my children or three of them fighting about something, I will take that thing. If this thing is the one that is causing a problem, it's, it's best to just remove it. Mm -hmm. So they've learned to, if they just see that they're trying, they've started arguing over a thing, Immediately, one of them will, you know, will just <laughs> <try>. <laughs> they no, yeah. <laughs> better cooperate or we lose it. <laughs> yeah, because all of them, they That's don't want to lose it. Yeah. Yeah. They don't want to lose it, yeah. or they don't want to lose that privilege at mm. that particular time. Mm. Uh, something like screen time, we have screen time only from Thursday since the weekend starts. Mm. Like let, let's say on a on a Thursday, so we have because since I have three, it was also kind of difficult trying to get everyone to watch what they want. Mm. So we came up with a rule that Thursday is for one, Friday and Saturday. So you to select what to watch. To select what to watch. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, not every time they select what they watch. Sometimes we sit with them on mm. these uh, particular days and get them to watch documentaries, get them to watch uh, things that we believe they're going to be uh, adding to them. Because mm. sometimes if you leave them to watch anything, mm. There are so many things yes. in the in the screen nowadays in the YouTube and all that. Yes, yes. So things like uh, allowing them to to watch uh, kids that are participating in public speaking, kids yes. that are mm. doing uh, memory verses yeah. like a so whole chapter, things that are yeah. adding value. Sometimes it's like oh, it's so boring, but, but they yeah. have they have to watch have to. things like because they're into sports as well. So mm -hmm. things like. Uh, sportsmen that have made it and why they've made it mm. because of the hard work that they've put mm. in. Mm. Sportsmen that have not made it, why have they not mm. made it? Mm. You know, why did their career, why was their career cut mm. short? Mm. So we try to expose them to this so that they know if you're going into this, it's not just about playing, mm. it's also about learning you, process. it's a yeah. learning process, it's about learning the concept, it's not just about you scoring, yeah, yeah. you know, it's mm. about teamwork. Mm. So all this we try to, to incorporate. Yeah. Um, having the family meetings, as I said, involving them in the rules. Yeah. We do mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So we have, we have, I think, three. Uh, if you do so a mistake, it's either we call you for a meeting or you're grounded. But nobody wants the spank, of course. So we, there's always a meeting. So, and they also, you know, they call us for meetings as well. Mm -hmm. So, okay. and sometimes they chair. You know, this happened, this happened, and so it, it's, I mean, we try to make it fun. Mm. We try to make it fun, and uh, because we use the discipline more, mm. because punishment, it's its like more of a penalty, you know? Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's not really um, a rewarding or a learning tool, mm. uh, to be honest. And at the same time, we, we have, um, what I can I say? We have a way whereby when we, we involve them, they get, uh, they get so confident, mm -hmm. they become more responsible, yes. you know? They become more responsible and you'll find that, uh, I remember just the other day when we were at the table for dinner and I think the, the girl was uh, talking and, and it was, because we had come back home late, mm. so they had to eat. Time was up, they had mm. to go to bed. And so one of my boys was like, Jeremiah was like, you need to eat, like, you know? Mm. So she asked, why are you behaving like a father? 
<laughs> so I say no. He's just maturing. He's just you know being being responsible yeah. that this and this You're wasting time. Need, yes, <laughs> things need to fall into yeah. place. So I mean, it it, it does pay off. It yeah. does pay off. And uh, yeah, the privileges, having the family meetings, involving them in mm-hmm. making decisions, mm-hmm. uh, checking with them what's their opinion yeah. because. Unlike before, you know, parents would just kids are just there to be to be seen mm-hmm. and not to be heard. Yeah. But it's these really kids, terrible. you have to hear. You them. have to. Yeah, if you don't want them. Them. you yeah. have to hear them out. Yes, it's important. Yes, yeah, you have to involve them in everything that you do. Rachel, you've said a lot that are so amazing, needy, amazing points. See, I can't keep underlining this word. Just. Take your pen as you lit- listen to all those points. Take your pen and listen to all those points and just write them out. You said um, the part that I'm going to just say again, you watch with them documentary so that they can learn. You know, these are the little things that we might not pay attention to. Another thing you said about the team leader. I do team leader, but team leader sometimes at home, but not every day. So I don't know, maybe something I would think of adopting, which I don't think is going to work. But never say never because my children are twins and you know, one that came out first that is 20 minutes older than another, that 20 minutes is so precious to her. And if you give her power, <laughs> even though she's smaller, she's always feeling like she's the mom. <laughs> precious! Come back here and say, no, it doesn't work like that. You understand? And Philip's like, mm. you know, like, I don't even know what to say. And she will tell you, I'm the oldest, Mm-mm. 20 minutes. <laughs> so, but sometimes I try to adopt this team leader, no, be in charge, yes. who is going to be, not like directly team leader, mm. this place needs to be clear, clear. You have to ensure mm-hmm. you be responsible for this part and this part. Dividing though. Yes, so, just, yes. Mm. But you have to know that we are doing this work together, but if it's not done, it's my mm. work. Mm. Yeah, you're so why that one you're doing together, you are the one who is responsible for mm-hmm. that one. Mm. So I try to adopt that and you know, the most important thing you said for me is make it fun. Yes. If every parent can make whatever we are doing with their children, our children fun, even at the moment we are checking their work from school, mm-hmm. asking them, make it fun. Let's show them that I'm your friend, we are friends. Yeah. But a whole lot of parents, I don't know why it's difficult for them to be able to maintain being friends with their children and yes, still being an authority. Some people, you teach them to be friends with their children, they overdo it. Mm-hmm. That it, child will know, their children will not respect them anymore. Because mm. so they don't know any boundaries. So I don't understand, and it's very, it's something that is almost impossible to teach. We can only just say the way we are saying it. So it must be intentional for every parent. The fact that you want to be your child's friend does not mean your word should not be gold. Yeah. Your word should still be valued, right. relevant. Mm-hmm. Stand and, as an authority. Thank you so much for joining me today. Day. I believe we have all had enough for one day. And I'll just be rounding up by, by asking Nidhi, what advice do you have for intending parent or single ladies out there? What advice would you give them? So my advice to single ladies are, is of course, don't rush, please mm. don't rush. Take your time. It does not matter if you are 20 year old or if you are 30 year old. You have to wait for the right guy. Mm. You have to wait. I just feel like asking you, how do they know right guy? <laughs> Sincerely, I don't want to push this point and I'm, I believe I'm going to have the two of you back that we're going to talk more. Maybe you come and tell them how to find the right guy. Who knows? Maybe your teaching is going to help that lady or the guy to find the right person. All right, just go ahead. So yes, uh, like you know, uh, when it comes to uh, parenting, of course there is, as I said, there is not a single advice, but we have to keep learning. Uh, We have to motivate ourselves. We have to uh, uh, ask for help, which is very important because nobody is perfect, not me, not any of us is perfect, you know. So uh, we need to keep on learning. We need to uh, be involved with our uh, children. Um, and uh, we need to make sure that, you know, uh, uh, like they should feel that, yes, mommy is interested in what I'm doing. Mm, we are uh, together. Yeah, papa is interested mm. in what I'm doing. I'm not left alone. Uh, like I can share with whatever is happening in my life with her. She is here to support me. Uh, she is here to help me. So that part is very important. 
and that takes a lot of work. Yeah. It's very, very important. That part, we cannot overemphasize it because the moment we let that gap bridge is a big problem for life. Our children must always be conscious of, uh, mommy is here, not like mommy will always be there. It's two things, and people always get this thing twisted. Mm -hmm. But at least I can talk to mom. Yes. Yeah. That, see, that is because you are not using his word or our word against her. Yeah. And these are little things. So it's not my child. You tell somebody, uh, it's not my child. It's your child, but your child, you know, that thing that you don't think is important, it's very important to that child. It is, it is. That yes. little secret. That they get called, oh, come on. Yeah. You know, I, you know, something little, but you feel you can go in front of the friend. Pekilia said, no, it doesn't work like that. You are breaking the rules. You are not allowing your child to trust you. Mm -hmm. So be conscious, be intentional the way you place your words. You think it's just about crackers. Your child is asking, me can I? But you think it, once the child is not saying it publicly, that means the child is not comfortable for others mm -hmm. to hear. Mm -hmm. So we have to respect that. Mm. Anyone can make this mistake. Our intentionality is the only thing that can help us to know it. Mm -hmm. mm. You understand? So I'm just going to ask Rachel, what advice do you have for intending wives? Mom, and even moms and wives. Well, um, I would say to, as I said earlier, to understand one, one thing is our children, each and every one of them is very unique. Mm. is an individual by themselves, you know, by himself, by herself. And as parents, if you're intending to be a parent or if you're already a parent, you have to be very intentional that you're going into this and you're going to raise another human being. Mm. So you've got to be able to, especially one thing is to love them, to show love. Because one thing I realize some parents is they love the child because of what the child uh, can do, mm. Mm. not because of the child. Mm. And which, you know? which our duty as parent is to love and love and love again. Yes. Unconditionally. Even if the child is called the so-called bad child, mm. yes. only love can correct it. Yes. Yes. Only love can bring the child back home. But as a parent, you know, you know he's being selfish. Mm -hmm. mm. That you just in your head feel this one is giving me a problem. This can start from little, from pregnancy, just like what I said mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. This pregnancy was tough and they're not seen it. Mm. I don't understand. They, they're not seen it and the child comes because that and child. So yes, and every mistake that child is going to do count. That's the same way you get me problems during your pregnancy. Oh, oh mommy, relax. Mm. Relax. It doesn't work like that. You're damaging your growing glory. Mm. So be intentional. So we need to love our children. Mm. Love them, love them, care for them. Even children that don't have biological parents. Mm. Uh, if they just have an adult that cares for them, mm. it's enough for them to, you know, to grow up to be very responsible sure. adults. Yeah. Sure. And the other thing we need to, because the way I love one child, it might not be the same I love the other child because different, you know, one child might love more attention, quality time, mm -hmm. the other child might be uh, how you speak to them, words of affirmation. So we must be sensitive to know how each and every child of ours, yeah. their love language. In a different way. Yes. Okay. And I think so I'll just mention something so that people who are listening to us will not get it wrong. You are not saying your love level is not the same, but the approach, yes. right? So like you say, oh, it's okay. Uh, Rachel said I can love one more than another. That's no, not no, what no, she's no, saying, no. but understand. It's still part of understanding the unique child. Yes. Mm. If I speak to this one, he's going to feel loved and understand. Yes. Mm -hmm. But that one just needs a call, no word. Yes. It's just only eye contact. Yeah. What you did. Mm. And the child is going to understand with the mm. cuddle. Mm. So it's our duty to understand our unique child. And even if you're feeling like it's not what you should, you should deal with it and don't show it up. Mm. You shouldn't love one more than other. Mm. All right. Yes. Thank you yeah. so much, so much, so much for this fantastic and amazing time. Personally, I have learned a lot and I've enjoyed myself so much. From all of us from the Vision Guide, we want to say a big thank you to Rachel and Nidhi for giving us this time. Time is precious, don't forget.
for them to come sit down right here and do this recording it's a lot of work and we are not taking it for granted we want to say thank you for coming we appreciate thank you, for you. we appreciate giving us this time and we believe if we call you again you will answer us i believe you have learned one or two things from this video if you have to watch it again go ahead just make sure you have your book with you have your pen and just everything important that is going to make your life better we have spoken about parenting motherhood being a wife and all even to the single sisters brothers you all have one thing to learn in this video and if you see my face for the very first time it means you have not subscribed to our video firstly i will say thank you for stopping by thank you for watching this video to this far please subscribe before you go my name is oye Oh ye lion and hi I'm your parenting coach and don't forget to shift the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we drop new video once again thank you for watching don't forget I love you I'm from everyone from the vision guide we love you see you again bye